Hey everyone, Finless Bob here, and uh, this is my MK808 taken apart. And what this little uh, video is going to show you is a trick I did to solve Wi Fi issues. Now, I have to tell you, when I first got this unit, I did not have really any Wi Fi issues other than some of the firmware issues that's been talked about before. Um, but then later, when I was working with Too Dark for You on a new kernel and the unit was getting hotter due to overclocking, all of a sudden I started having some uh, serious Wi-Fi issues and what I mean by that is uh, the signal bars were very low half the time especially after a new ROM flash it either wouldn't get an IP I'd get authentication errors uh, with my WPA2 router uh, it would drop the connection all kinds of problems even then once I did get a good connection what would happen was many times I'd get on Google Play and it would time out and you'd have to click retry so I did not come up with this. I saw it posted a couple times on Freak Tab, and that was to remove the ground wire uh, for the antennas. And I'm going to explain why. What happens is when the factory, and let me zoom in a little here, when the factory is soldering the wires for the antenna, whoops, let me get it to focus here. Sorry, guys, a little too zoomed. When they're soldering the wires to the antenna, if you look at the antenna wire, there it's two wires. There's a wire with an insulator, and then there's a shield around that that's ground, and then another gray insulator. So you have a little wire coming in here with a clear insulator on it, uh, and that's the antenna. And then you have this outer casing that is uh, the ground or shielding for this cable, and that is soldered to ground here. What happens is when they solder it, they are melting the wire inside and shorting ground to antenna, causing the basically this antenna to be worthless. Uh, basically, it's just bridging this connection here, and you're not getting any Wi-Fi. Now, on mine, what happened was I think I had one that was bridged and one that was not, but later it became bridged due to, again, again the heat. Maybe it was just very close at the time, whatever. Now this is a t I would call this a quick fix. The real fix would be to desolder this, put on a better antenna, and solder gr uh, ground goes here, and the uh, antenna wire goes here, and put on another set of antennas. That would be the proper way to fix it. But a quick way to fix it, and it worked great for me, was simply to remove the ground, leaving the antenna line. It doesn't matter now that it's shorted here because now this whole thing's acting as an antenna. Again. Not quite right, but it did work. It totally solved my Wi-Fi issues. I quit dropping connections. I would instantly get an IP address, etc. And let me show you here. I'm going to turn on a meter, a voltmeter, and I'm going to unzoom a little bit. And you will see that if I hold one probe on the antenna and the other one on this ground, it will short directly. See that? Direct short. Now, on the other side of the board, I happen to have the very same thing. If I hold on to the antenna and touch the, the ground, as you can see, it's a direct short in the cable. All right, and that's no good. With that shorted internally in the cable here, it will directly short the ground in the antenna, and you will get no Wi-Fi. I recommend at least, if, you, if you're not going to do the mod, take your unit apart, and if you can find someone with a meter, again, it's a simple ohm meter, if you can find someone with a meter, just you can hear the beeping, mine beeps when there's a direct short. You can at least check your antenna by going on the two solder tabs and see if you got a short. Alright, if you do, quick fix, just desolder the ground wire. Now be careful, the wire, once you do that, the wire, if you move it around too much, you'll break it off, okay? So you want to be careful. And same thing with this one, desolder the ground wire. Totally solved my Wi-Fi issues. Now, if you're gonna put the case back together, right and use the original case I highly recommend either wrap some tape around this ground area or quick tip if you've got a wife or a girlfriend get some fingernail polish don't paint it on the circuit board if ever you want to come back in here and solder new wires you don't want to do that and just paint the wire here with uh, fingernail polish at least three coats 
put one coat on, let it dry. One coat may not be enough. Two coats, three coats, make sure you got three coats on there. And it should insulate that ground so when you put it back together, you don't want that ground touching any other components on the board and shorting those out. So you want to fix that ground by isolating it and putting some fingernail polish or some tape or whatever you like on it to make sure that when you put it back together that the ground wire doesn't actually reconnect or that it doesn't touch anywhere else and cause that to short. Okay, so make sure you insulate those wires. All right, again, this tip worked really good for me. I highly recommend you at least check your unit by taking it apart. By the way, to take it apart, it's got these little snaps on the inside all around, all right, and they snap into little notches on the case, and they're pretty robust. I started at the DMI port, HDMI port, and just kind of popped, pried it off and popped it all apart. Came apart pretty easy, all right, so that's how you take it apart. But anyway, again, I highly recommend at least check yours to make sure it's short, not shorted. If it is, you can desolder that ground, totally solves it. Or the proper way, remove these antennas, replace the wires, or put on better antennas if you want to go to that extent. Uh, but for sure, disconnect the ground. I think you'll find your Wi-Fi issues are fixed. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Enjoy.